car behind me is a 2004 Selina 7 Twin Turbo. Uh, production numbers vary across the board, it seems, but general consensus is that there are less than 74 ever made in total race cars and road cars. Uh, this one behind me being particularly special, being beryllium orange, in that uh, it is thought to only be three production twin turbo beryllium orange cars ever made. That's one of the coolest things about the S7 is that they're almost all entirely unique in one way or other, whether it's color or options that were done, special features, things like that. There, there's really a great story behind each one and it makes it very, very special to each owner. It's one of the big draws to the car in itself. This particular car came to us uh, with a really unique story of itself. Like I said, S7s have something unique about them to every each individual one, it seems like. This one was the last naturally aspirated car Celine made. Um, the owner took delivery of it, enjoyed it, and then said, you know, with the release of the turbo model, I want more. So the car went back to Celine and was uh, converted to a twin turbo S7 at that point. Um, one of the best things about this particular car is the owner truly drives it and enjoys it. It doesn't have just a few hundred miles on anything, and that's not to say that's bad, but here at Enthmoto we build cars to be used, to be driven, to really, really get your enjoyment out of it. And for a lot of guys, that is the driving aspect. Um, and so this particular owner came to us with an idea of what he really felt like the S7 could be and could become if the right ideas and engineering and technology were applied to it. You discuss with the owner, what does the car do now and what do we want it to do in the end? And as, as a team, we've come up with a game plan that will accomplish the goals and deliver a product that's going to be usable and fun in every sense of it and all likelihood exceeds expectations. And I think we accomplished that here with this. Um, we did that by realistically renovating the vehicle top to bottom but not completely changing its DNA. And you do that by going through the engine of course, our own turbo system that was fabricated in-house here. Um, intercooler system, fuel system, standalone engine management featuring the AM Infinity. You put all those things together and you end up with something that is a very, very potent performer. Factory delivered Twin Turbo S7 was rated at 750 crank horsepower. From our testing, we found that this might be a touch optimistic. Uh, but our project goal for this car was a legitimate 1,000 horsepower build on pump gas that would suffer no loss of pre-existing low-end power that the car had. Um, I'm very happy to say that we exceeded that goal by hitting 1,100 horsepower on 93 octane and the torque is equally monstrous, making almost a thousand foot-pounds. Uh, the really cool thing is, in fact, it's making more power than when it was delivered to us as low as 2,000 RPMs. To think that this car is a 10-year-old car is literally difficult. Uh, 2004 to 2014 now, and the road presence of this thing is really remarkable. Uh, People stop, stare, point, photograph, video. They'll follow you to wherever you're going to stop just to ask literally, what is it? And whenever it comes up that the car is a 10-year-old vehicle, uh, nobody believes it. Um, and that just shows how amazing of a job Phil Frank did in the design work on this car to think that it can still command attention and presence literally on par with just about anything in the world I feel like at this day and age is an incredible thing.